Welcome to our big match preview. We wait two months for a home game. Then two come along in one week. After that nil-nil draw with Bournemouth, we look ahead to the visit of Crystal Palace, which is in a Premier League fixture, not a cup game, on Wednesday night. But joining us to give us the opposition view and the bird's eye view from the Eagles and with Jim from the Palace Fans in Five Year Plan. Jim, thanks for joining, mate. How are you doing? I'm um, very well, thank you. Yeah, very well. How are you? Not too bad. We're hoping for uh, three points on Wednesday. Well, we're, we're obviously hoping for three points as well. Although after our result against Chelsea, um, I think the pressure's off us a little bit, to be honest, because we never seem to get in the league. I don't think we've won down in Southampton since 90, no, 2007, possibly. We don't do very well in the league down at your place. So I think you guys will be more confident than us. That's a fantastic stat, though. But let's start with uh, that win at Chelsea on Saturday. Fine, fine win, really. 24 shots I heard. They absolutely peppered your, your defence. The league leaders, hot favourites, but somehow you managed a 2-1 win. Just describe it for us. How did you, you, know, how did you win that? And can we expect them more on, on Wednesday? I mean, I can only describe it as the most Sam Allardyce performance ever because like you say we had we had three shots on target two of them were goals we had 27 percent possession and yet we held out and and the one, one thing Allardyce has done to our team has made us resolute and organized much like when we got Tony Pulis a couple of years ago and he kept us up doing the same thing under Pardew we'd have lost that game 4-2 5-2 easily but under Allardyce we just we know how to defend we actually we've remembered how to defend now and and obviously Having players like Sacco come in has really helped as well. And Milivojevic as well, this guy we got from, from nowhere that no one heard about. And then suddenly he's one of our best midfielders. But it's going exactly as you would have imagined, Valadice. It's going almost to plan. It is a testament to the players like Sacco because he came in on big money. He's been nominated for the Premier League Player of the Month. And, you know, you're on four wins in a row now. You were sort of a bit inconsistent for, for most of the season, struggling to put a string of results together. But now you're coming to us on the back of four wins and lots of momentum in the final stage of the season. Absolutely. And, and you know, four wins on the bounce is, when you're down where we are is, is massive, you know. And three was good enough. We, no one expected anything from Chelsea, really. But to get four wins, I think it's only Spurs and... I'm not sure there's one other team that I've got four. So it's, you know, we're one of the form teams in the Premier League at the moment, which is crazy because, you know, when, when Pardew went end of last year, we were a mess. We were an absolute free fall. We had zero confidence. We were let, we let in five goals away at Swansea. I mean, Swansea, you know, we scored four as well. So it, what Allardyce has done, not only has he made us more resolute, and more organised, he just breathed confidence back into the team. You know, they look now like a team that they believe they can win any game. And, and you know, I gave you that stat at the start and we haven't got a good record in the league down at St Mary's, but we will go there and we will still think that we can win this game. It's certainly going to be a competitive match. Um, you know, like we have an annual cup game, but what sort of tactics has Big Sam been employing recently? You know, what sort of team do you predict to see on, on Wednesday? To be honest, it will be the same team. The thing Allardyce has done is he's kept the same lineup. Apart from Van Aanholt getting injured and Slut coming in, and then Tompkins, of course, went off at the weekend, but hopefully it wasn't too bad. Scott Dan came in to replace him and unfortunately picked up another knee injury, which, which doesn't look good. But he's picked the same team. And I, I genuinely do think that, again, when you're down the bottom where we, we are, which we weren't expecting this season, everyone was hoping, you know, after the cup final and stuff, that we would, we would sort of push on. But it's so important when you get consistent 11 together. With, you know, since Sacco's come in, it's pretty much been the same back four. Hennessy, our goalkeeper, who I think had his best game for the club at Chelsea, looks more confident as a result. It's been Kabay and Levojevic in the middle. And as a result, Kabay has looked a lot better. He's been a bit patchy, but now he's got a solid defensive midfield alongside him. He looks a bit more confident as well. So it's just, it will be the same team, you know, barring injuries that it's been the last few games, um, which is that that back six. And then Zaha, Townsend and Punch and behind Benteke. And I just think it makes them look so much more confident because they know who they're playing with, how to play. And, and, and if anything, it's making life easier for them. Mm, and we've had a similar case this season, actually. Up until four or five weeks ago, our team was rotated every single week. Puel doesn't know his strongest team and he knows his strongest team now. He's only forced because of the injury to Gabbiadini, who might be fit for Wednesday, but we're, we're unsure on that one. But let's wrap things up then, Jim. Give us a prediction. What do you hope for and what do you think realistically could happen? Before the Chelsea game, I'd have said that, that we will probably lose this game at Southampton and it'll probably be quite a slender defeat, 2-1, that kind of thing. But after the Chelsea game, they're going to be absolutely brimming with confidence and, uh, you know, barring any injuries, I could I could see us getting a result. I really could. And 
you know, that's hard for me to say because we never... I went down to the FA Cup third round last season and I didn't expect to result then and we got a really hard for victory. Um, but I've never seen us winning the league down there, I don't think. So I'm feeling confident. I'm going to go for 2-1 two, two, Palace. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. But I always, always, I actually went to university in Southampton, so I always enjoy going back down to watch games down there. Uh, I've got a soft spot for the Saints as a result, so I always enjoy it down there. Um, but I think this time we'll, we, we might do it. Great stuff. But I don't like the sound of that result. Um, Jim, thank, thanks for joining, mate. You've been great. No worries. Thanks, mate. And if you want to check out more of Jim, uh, head over to the Five Year Plan podcast and fans in great page, great podcast. Check it out if you haven't already. I'm sure the link will be down in the description. And if you like the video, leave us a like. Uh, leave us your comments below and your predictions for Wednesday night's game. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more.